everybody welcome to Katie Moonchild's world I'm Katie and here we are to walk through uh, another deck of cards I just got these in the mail and I'm really excited to get them opened up and show them to you these are by Dr. Stephen D. Farmer which I love the messages from the spirits of nature Oracle and uh, yeah by Hay House. Yes, Hay House had another sale. You know, this happens. Every time I say I don't want to buy anymore for a while, <laughs> then somebody will have them decks I've been looking at for a while on sale for like, I think these were like 60% off. So, yeah. Okay, let's do it. So I just, my collection grows. Anyway, here we are. It's a nice box. And I like, once again, the print is flat, except it is got gilding. Once again. Hmm. Nice, solid box. Here's the back. Gives you a bit of the flavor of it. Connect to the spirits of nature. Discover the messages that the spirits in the trees, rivers, stones, and animals long to share. When you work with the oracle, you enter into a collaboration with the spirit of nature on each card, sparking your intuition to receive insights and healing. As you continue to work directly with the nature spirits, you will receive guidance along your life path and feel a greater sense of connectedness to the creation. And there's your ISBN number. The artwork and everything is by Scott Rethen Bridenthal. Let's see what these cards are like. What did you say? Open the box. Mm. Ooh, look at that. How pretty. Discover the magic of communicating with the spirits of the natural world. That's a leaf. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. First thing is the book. There's the bottom. Oh, I love that. Almost can do, I can do that in resin. Love it. Oh, that's the back of the cards. We'll look at those in just a second. Let's look at the book first. Hmm, this is interesting. <clears throat> Let me pull you down just a little closer. And we can see a little better. There. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Some glue on the page. There we go. This was published in 2002 in Australia. I was not aware it's interesting. Here's the other stuff. Books and everything. By Stephen Farmer. I want this pocket guide to spirit animals. I really would like to carry that on me. When I go out and about, people ask me the most interesting questions. There's his card decks. I have the messages from your animal spirit guides oracle cards. This one right here. I have that one. No, I have the power animal oracle cards. That's what I have. I would love to have them all. Oh, yes. Dedicated to all our relations and Pachamama, the mother of us all. Amen. Here's all the cards. Wow, covers everything. 
flowers, the elements. Oh, I love it. Okay. The introduction. It's not just land that is broken, but more importantly, our relationship to the land. Robin, Wall, Kimmerer. Mm. I know exactly where these cards are going to be going. What position they're going to be in, they're going to go in my Saturday Solutions reading. Introductions for working with cards. Preparing your cards, how to cleanse, and we haven't talked about how to do that in a while for the people who are new to this. How to store your cards. Um, if you don't have a lot of cards, I suggest you store them in a nice soft cloth bag or wrapped in a scarf. Myself, I have too many to do that, so they get stored quietly and calmly on a bookshelf unless I'm using them. How to prepare, cleanse yourself and get centered. How to relate to someone else's message if you're going to be doing readings for other people. You have one card readings and how and ways to use them in different things like meditation and just to think about things. You have your three card pulls. Here's a four card pull about relationship. Very awesome. And then the cross. I use that every Saturday. General meanings of the cards. Keep close to nature's heart and break clear away once in a while and climb a mountain, or spend a week in the woods. Wash your spirit clean, John Muir. And then we start out with the cards. We do not have photographs of the cards to go with the descriptions. So we have the air, apple tree, butterfly, let's see, desert. Oh, that's appropriate. Oh, and it's the number 10. End of a cycle, desert and thirsty. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. I love it. The diamond in radiance is number 11. Okay. Let's see. Forest is diversity because the forest is so full. Ocean waves. Standing at the shore, looking out at the body of water that seems to go on and on. You find yourself captivated by the romantic ebb and flow of the waves. <clears throat> mm. The rose is love. It's also number 33. I love it. Sage purification. Yes. Oh, and the sequoia tree. Balance. Type of redwood, you know. Snake shedding. Okay. Well, this is quite the book. Each card's message is, I like it because each card's message covers two pages. I'm sorry, I need to hold that down there better for you. Not a lot to see unless you like to look at a lot of black and white words. <laughs> anyway, next part is about the artist. And then about Dr. Farmer. And how to contact them for more information. And then this is pretty much your, your uh, okay, you can focus now. Thank you. Title page. This is the information from Hay House. 
publisher. And that's the book. Let's look at these cards. Who cares about the book, right? Unless you're going to read it. <laughs> See if I can get these off. There we go. Let's take a look at these cards. I like the back. That's really neat. The first card. Wind. Oh, the movie over. Get you over here. There we go. I'm getting myself oriented since I have it up a little closer. Wilderness. Oh. Mm. I think I'm just going to be quiet and let you look at these. So beautiful. Tobacco is reciprocity. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I haven't seen that in a deck. Reciprocity. Mm. I haven't seen that in a while. Yes. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then there's the sequoia tree. Tallest tree in the world. It's also the one of the oldest. Sage. Mmm, isn't that gorgeous? <clears throat> Beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, beautiful. Such simple cards, too. I like um, how tastefully done they are. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Thank you, camera. Ooh. Wow. Neat. <clears throat> How beautiful. Oh, and it smells wonderful. I used to have some growing out here in my yard. Oh, detachment. Oof. That's an interesting card. Oh, there you go. I love these cards. Wow, look at that fire. The card almost looks hot to touch. Our blue planet. Oh, so beautiful. Bottlenose dolphin. Mm-hmm. Ooh la. La la. I love that that's number 11 card. And at the end of the cycle, oh my goodness, is <laughs> Monument Valley. Talk about it. Sacred Desert. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. We're so quick to kill dandelions. You know, and they do have a lot of beneficial things. If you want to have a perfect green lawn, I get it. No, actually, I don't. But that's okay. We don't need to go down that road. That's beautiful. Oh, now, there you go. I want to paint that. Yeah. I heard those for the first time yesterday here. For the first time this year. You know, they'll be singing all summer. Mm. Look at that tree. Mmm. Almost time for them to do their thing too. And the milkweed. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. Abundance is perfectly shown as apples and on the number too. Love and abundance. Health. And apples. And the pear. Raw. Damn, beautiful cards. They are not gilded. They are very simple, yet elegant cards. Uh, the gilding is all on the box. There's no gilding at all on the cards. Uh, they have just enough shine that uh, they make the cards slick, but they don't have a lot of glares. You have to really tip it to get you to even see the ring light, and you can't tell that it's a ring. It's just, it's just yeah. The glare's not bad for those of you who want to use these cards on a YouTube channel or on camera for a lesson or something. See how they shuffle? They're a little stiff right now because they're new. Which is good. That means they're good, nice quality cards. Of course they are. The publisher, I love the publisher. Hey, how? They are quite stiff right now. So they're a little bit hard for me to shuffle, but I have a hand that's not quite like everybody else's yet. So let's do the bend test. Oh, we'll do it with the rose card. Here we go. Bend that card. It bends. It's not bad, but it is staying cupped. It'll go back. It wants to cup that way too a little. They're stiffer. As you can hear, but they do shuffle nicely. Um, I could say they're stiff. Oop. And I can't shuffle worth a darn today. So anyway, <laughs> I thank you very much for being here. <clears throat> Pardon me for this walkthrough of the messages in the Spirits of Nature Oracle by Dr. Stephen Farmer. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, would you consider coming back? I do more card to decks. Um, I think I'm pretty much done with them for this month. However, I do have a book review coming up shortly. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I do card readings and I'm a resin artist. So if you would like to see what I like, kind of put up on this channel. There's several videos for you to look at to catch up if you would like to uh, survive. Subscribe. If nothing else, at least give me a like. I would appreciate it so much. And it's free and easy. Thank you very much for being here. And we'll see you next time. Make kindness a habit, please. So together, 
we can thrive. Thank you. Bye now.